Hey YouTube, I'm having a wee go at something different. Uh, when you see like when Chocolate does it, he does it, he walks about with a GoPro and it's all well lit and stuff like that. I can't really do that, so I'm trying to do something. I just think like we close up looks at the tone rather than actually playing these guitars. So here's the my JPAX prototype guitar. Um, just to see it up close. So we've got you know, doing this sort of pass and run on the Death Star type thing. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's my Joby Brown knobs from I got in Pennsylvania. I think they're from an amp or something like that. And a cream switch with a five way Cortex switch in it. The output jack on the front, the body, as you can see, it was a you can see the slight. You can't really, is it there? There's the join. So this piece here is one piece, and then the rest's all one other piece. This is the bridge, which is only a temporary thing. It says Fender patent pending on it, and it's obviously an old one, but it's here, it's got notches cut out it. I think at some point it's had like a cinematic bridge put over on top of it. Um, so I'm looking at a Goto bridge, and that's the Bill Lawrence blade pickup in the bridge. And then the neck is a 70s DiMarzio Super Distortion, which I've, I've got it screwed straight onto the body. It's pure solid, which is probably better. Um... So the pickup rig was just basically just aesthetic, but I quite liked it anyway. And then we're onto the there's the one of those wheel things like Charvels have got for the truss rod. You can see that real mother of peril because from certain angles you can't like see that twenty fourth fret marker. One of them is really bright and the other one isn't. When you rotate it around, suddenly it's like oh suddenly it's that one bright and then the other one isn't. You kind of get cool that way. It's that that's a very nice ebony fingerboard. Really should be playing you know that music that's in the Marks and Spencer's advert. It's like, do, do, do. That. And there's the headstock. I put those uh, fender type string trees. I like those ones. So they're not quite rollers. But I think, no, they are rollers. But they are, those are the ones you get. See the ones that are kind of like boxy? They're shite. Get those ones. These ones go much lower. And you just get cheap Chinese ripoffs. Like what these are. They're only £2 each or something like that. And then there's my go to tuners which I've had for years you can see this you can see a little bit of the flamey maple see coming through there you kind know, of that's what kind of why I'm doing this video to be honest but it's, it's when you start coming down the neck you know, the bit you play it's, it's actually going to show up <clears throat> like it's totally ridic ridiculous flame Try and get it. If you kind of move the angles out, you can see it kind of moves inside. It's kind of like hologrammy. If I can get it without the the light hitting off it, but it's it's right at the, right at the angle when you're playing it. You know, it's like when you're playing. This is the bit you see. You know, so, so the bit the, the bit of the guitar you see is this pure amazing. Like, look at look at it dancing into the fire. Maybe that's what that's Doors album's all about. Isn't that ridiculous? And then four bolt neck, and um, you see the flame still there. And uh, you can see there quite quite clearly where the the other piece, the second piece of swamp ash is. Oh, I think there's another bit of it. Oh, there's a few bits. Okay, it's fine. This this was meant to be a budget guitar. It's totally fine. It's not. Uh, there's a, there's a join there as well, and it looks like there's a join. I'm just looking at this back, the back piece here, which is sometimes where you can see where the, the grain changes. See, there's one, there's one change. That's one bit, two bits, three bits, four bits. But it, it's fantastically light. Um, yeah, I'm going to put the, let's see the, this, the, the Trump orange just light stain this is me meant to be painted or finished but i'm kind of liking it the way it is and those are the ferrules i put in i managed to put them in quite straight uh, I, I put gold ones in but you can't see the front and the back at the same time um yeah so how, how long is this video five minutes a five minute reasonable video that, i might do i might do a, a few of these uh, see how it goes it's annoying that my face is behind the, 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 the that um 
But yeah, so any any guitars you want to see up close. I think you play that music, you know, do 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 the Max and Spencer's Gordon Giltrap thing, whatever it is. Something like that. Not not just any any crisps. These are Marks and Spencer's crisps. Excuse me, it's just to kind of polish these things up. I didn't even really I kinda of tried to clean up that fender bridge a bit. But um to be honest, I kinda of quite like it. I don't know. It's, it, it suits me quite well. I was got there's a goto one that's really nice, but it kinda of looks modern. I'm not sure whether I've got a feeling that that is like a because it cleaned up awful well. It was really, really fucking rusty. And I just scraped it and it's come up actually looking quite good. And um, I think you know when when did Fender Bridges say Fender patent pending on them? Is this like a sixties? Is it like a fifties one or something like that? I mean, I got it from an Ibanez Silver Cadet or Silver Silver something, which is basically my CSL Telecaster. And someone had upgraded it, and it had been back in those days you upgraded it with old bridges. So somebody's had a Telecaster, they've not liked the. They wanted intonation, so they've cut it, they've modified the guitar to take a tunematic over the Telecaster bridge, Francis Rossi style, and then they've sold that bridge, and somebody's bought that bridge, and because they've tried to upgrade their Ibanez, they've realised that the other pickups and the saddles are different sizes, so they've needed a fender bridge to take a modern pick up and blah, blah, blah. So, so I think it might it could be like a maybe it's the third guitar it's been on um, the first one being the original 60s Fender don't know it's got a little bit of history to it they, these this pickup came out of a, a it had been stuck in an SG200 Gibson SG200 the one that had six single coil someone had modified it and put these in it in the 70s it was a guy's uncle or something like that and uh, he sold them and he put pick up some more like the original ones back into the SG200 um, and the Bill Lawrence I got I can picture the house I can picture the guy I got it off didn't pay very much but I just thought that's cool I like Bill I like the, you don't see very many cream Telecaster it was actually it was going to go into the Shocking Bird um, until I found that P90 that I put in it anyway okay, now it's not five minutes so I'm going to try and do these five minute videos so name for the series I don't really I don't really want to call it guitar porn. Catch you later.